Yo, what's poppin' in this video? I'm gonna show you how to leave a lasting impression in a conversation right now. Yeah. I'm so happy. Uh, uh. Now look. When you have conversations with people, you want it to be memorable. You want to leave that conversation with someone thinking about you. You want you to be on their mind. You want them to be like, wow, I was just a really swell person. I got to stay in touch with them. So here's some tips on how to leave a lasting impact, a lasting impression in a conversation. All right, first, this will be the foundation, but tell yourself in a conversation that you cannot make a mistake. You need to free yourself of all of the potential barriers and rules you're setting up for yourself in a conversation within reason of course but you want to give yourself the freedom to be yourself and the freedom to even make a few mistakes because you're not going to let your personality come out when you're just restricting yourself so essentially what i want you to do is tell yourself you cannot do wrong now this leads into my next point now one excellent way to leave a lasting impression is to be vulnerable when you're vulnerable you let people know you're a real person and people connect with that people connect with that authenticity that realness and i'm telling you that's one thing i've noticed in life is that people really appreciate those who just keep it real with them, keep it honest. I'll give you an example. So I know somebody who went out uh, on a little business dinner. It was him and then a few other people, other business people, and they were going out with a kind of a head honcho in business. And they were hoping that the, the dinner went well enough to where they could do some business together, hopefully make some money. So everyone that was going on this business dinner situation with this business dude that was very important, they wanted to impress the guy so that they could hopefully secure some sort of partnership. Now, everyone at this dinner with this guy was all, you know, proper and, and secure and they were, they were restricting themselves. They were, they were laughing at everything the dude said and they were being on their best behavior, clearly trying to you know, be on that person's good side. Afraid of making any mistakes. Now the business guy kind of went around and asked everyone how they were doing and they said like some generic answers. Yeah, you know, I'm pretty good. You know, I'm running a blah, blah, blah with the blah, blah, blah. My investment over here made about $300,000 and this, that, and the third. You know, everyone kind of spewing out their resumes and stuff. And when he got to the guy that I know, he asked him, yo, what about you? And he looked at this guy and he kept it so honest. He's like, I'm getting over one of the longest relationships I've ever had. It was about four years. and. I'm still getting over it a little. He just opened up. You can imagine, I imagine like everyone else who gave their whole resume, their speeches, they're looking at this guy like, <gasps> why are you revealing yourself like that? And what's wild is that the guy who asked him ended up opening up about the fact that he recently, I guess, got out of a, a he went through a divorce recently and they were married for a while and it formed this whole bonding moment because they talked briefly about their experiences that they both shared together. Long story short, they formed a deeper connection, a better relationship, a better friendship, and guess what? That guy was responsible for getting the guy I know a promotion and moving up quicker in the corporate ranks. Crazy. All because he kept it real. And that guy he kept it real with never forgot that he bonded with that and he loved that he was being real and honest now I want you also to please take this with a grain of salt don't just go out blabbing about all your business to everybody you got to use it within reason you don't want to be just walking into a job interview like welcome to Goldman Sachs Timothy why do you think you should work with us today? I don't think my mom loves me. I think we're done here. Next, another thing you can do is to tell stories. People love stories. This is huge. And the more captivating the story, the better. I mean, look at it like this. If you watch some of the best public speakers in the world, shoot, if you go and watch some TED Talks right now on YouTube, you will see a lot of the, the best, highest watched TED Talks with millions of views. They, they use great storytelling. Stories are great because for people you're talking to, they're insanely easy to remember. In fact, a lot of people like to use some sort of storytelling or visual exercise to remember a long list of things. You can find videos of this exercise online where they try to tell someone to memorize like 50 different items in a row. And it's like, if you look at the list, yeah, you're not gonna memorize it. But if you construct a story where at each point of the story, one of those items on the list are in the story and you recall the story, you'll remember all 50 of those items effortlessly. So when you tell stories to individuals, they'll be more drawn to you because they'll remember all the details within that story that reveal elements of who you are. Also, we as people just have this knack we want to see a story finish out. We rarely want to listen to a story halfway through and then just leave or walk away. Next point, this is big, but use the person's name when you're speaking with them. I got this point from Dale Carnegie, a best-selling author of the book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Fantastic book. If you haven't read it, definitely read it. But he says, the single sweetest sound in any language is a person's name. Goodness gracious. That's the difference between saying, hey, what's up, to Gertrude. 
how you doing? Using someone's name resonates deeper with that person because you make it personal and you also make them feel special because you remembered a small detail about them. A lot of people get flattered when maybe you've only met them once and some time passes and you call them by their first name because you remember them. It shows that you listen and it shows that you kind of care. People love that. Now, if you've noticed so far, a lot of my points relate to making an emotional connection with somebody, going below the surface when you want to leave a lasting impression. Next point that you can do, and it's fantastic, and it's something that I've been trying to work on personally, but that is to speak slow. Because when you speak slower, you come off as more centered, more grounded, and more sure of what you're saying. Oh yes, and you also come off as more articulate. In addition to that, it also helps you avoid miscommunication because you're speaking slower, so people around you can understand every word that you're saying. It allows you to more effectively tie your emotions to the words that you're saying by using pauses, raising and lowering volume. You know, the skill set, the skill set of the voice. Number six, and this is similar to using someone's name, but when you're in a conversation with them, reference a nuance or something in their life that they've mentioned to you, they may not expect you to remember. Now, do this within reason, all right? Don't do this bringing up facts about somebody that they never told you in the first place. Hey, Stephanie, how's it going? Oh, it's going. Today's just been kind of difficult, you know? <laughs> I know, kind of like last night when you were trying to make meatloaf, but it burned and you had to do the whole thing all over again. <laughs> what? How did you know that? Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay. <laughs> If you spoke with someone and they mentioned something big in their life, like they just had a job interview, or they just moved into a new apartment, they got a new pet, something like that. Bonus point if you remember the name of their pet too. Ask them how things went with that. And then give them the stage, let them talk. They'll be flattered. They'll be flattered that you remember these details about their life and it communicates to them that you care. In the comment section down below, let me know what are you gonna do today to leave a lasting impression in conversation. Yo, welcome to the end of the video. What's good? What's poppin'? Click over here for more. I've got more amazing stuff for you and it's all free. Just click over here. Don't you hate when you're in a group of people and somebody says to you, hmm, why are you so quiet? What, what are you, why are you silent? Why aren't you saying much? It's like, what, what kind of answer do they expect? Oh, you know, well, my childhood caused me to have an